What is a solar eclipse? Chapter 1. History of Eclipses. Thousands of years ago, people wondered about many things they saw in the sky. They did not have telescopes, spacecraft, or other technologies that we have today. They could not use science to explain what they saw. They used stories instead. The sun is important for life. It gives light and heat. It helps plants grow. Imagine how scary it would have been if the suddenly sun suddenly seemed to disappear. All over the world, ancient cultures created legends to explain eclipses. They told of monsters stealing the sun's light. In ancient Chinese stories, a dragon devoured the sun. In India, the demon Rahu swallowed it. Egypt, Egyptians thought that a serpent from the Nile River leaped into the sky and swallowed their sun god Ra. There are stories that describe wolves, bears, birds, and other creatures eating the sun. To scare these enemies away, people made noise by yelling and banging on drums. They shot arrows and threw stones into the sky. Today, we know that eclipses are caused by the way the sun, earth, and moon move. But in the past, people saw eclipses as dangerous, and they worried for their lives. Some cultures thought that eclipses were punishment from their gods. They thought the fog, dew, or rain after an eclipse would bring sickness, so they covered their wells, stayed inside, and did not drink water for days. During a battle between two kingdoms, near what is now Turkey, an eclipse darkened the sky. The soldiers put down their weapons, and the king signed the treaty to end the war. To them, the eclipse seemed to be far more of a threat than any amount of fighting. Other cultures have more romantic ideas. In Germany, they believe that the sun and the moon were married. Since the sun came out during the day and the moon at night, the eclipse was the only time they could be together. Early astronomers tried to understand more about the moon and sun. About 5,000 years ago, people built stone structures related to the objects they saw in the sky. Stonehenge is an arrangement of giant rocks in England. The stones are lined up to mark the movements of the sun and the moon. Another collection of large stones in Ireland, called Lughall Cairns, are carved with circle shapes that might be symbols of a solar eclipse. These early structures show the people were noticing patterns in the way the sun and moon traveled across the sky. As ancient astronomers learned more about the sky and watched the way objects moved over periods of time, they could predict when eclipses would occur. The Babylonians wrote records of eclipses on clay tablets almost 4,000 years ago. They noticed that eclipses seemed to happen during certain times of the year and that they repeated every 18 years. Ancient Greek, Chinese, and Maya people also recorded and predicted eclipses. Stonehenge. Recording eclipses through history. Scientists use computers to help them study eclipses and store information about them. But people all over the world have been recording information about eclipses for thousands of years even before computers existed. The earliest records of eclipses were pictures carved in the rock, like the ones at, Long, at Low Crew, Cairns in Ireland. These pictures are called petroglyphs. A petroglyph of a possible eclipse has also been found in New Mexico's Chaco Canyon. In ancient China, observers wrote about eclipses by carving on animal bones. The Greeks wrote on long scrolls made from the papyrus plant. They also created a machine with bronze gears that helped them predict future positions of the sun and moon. In Central America in the 1200s, the Maya wrote about eclipses in books made of tree fiber. These early astronomers recorded lots of information and predicted future eclipses. They even predicted an eclipse that happened more than 700 years later. Over the centuries, astronomers continued to observe. 
They learned more about the sun, the moon, the earth, and the rest of the planets in our solar system. The invention of the telescope helped make faraway objects appear closer. Scientists developed spacecraft called probes to investigate the moon and the sun. High-powered cameras were designed to take photographs in different types of light. Modern tools like these have taught us a lot about our universe and our solar system, including eclipses.